Janie. I'm deeply sorry for not telling you enough about your father. I hope this fulfills what you've been seeking. Dearest little Janie, I apologise for not having written to you much. But as you may have guessed, everything here is very chaotic. Thank you for your letters you've sent. I've read some more than 20 times. Yearn to see you. It doesn't seem so long since I was last holding you. And now I find myself in this unforgiving country. I have a duty to fight in. Steep hills, rocky cliffs stretching off into the distance. Not unlike New Zealand at all. It only makes me miss you all the more. Home is becoming a sorely missed place indeed. The food isn't worth living for, if you can call it food. Slimy bully beef and rock-hard biscuits. But sore gums and rebellious stomachs are the least of our worries. I had signed up with my best friend, Charlie Palmer. He was engaged to a girl in Wellington and sometimes he used to read me her letters. I'd imagined us fighting side by side but he was soon transferred to the engineers. A decision that cost him. I guess this is it. I guess so. You look out for those snipers as you head over there, Charlie. See you later, Arthur. Take care. Charlie, get down! Get down! Oh god. Charlie! If you found anything on him, Arthur, you can keep it. Just let us search. He spent the rest. Good luck to him then. I 
experienced nightmares here that I could never have imagined. Exhaustion. Dehydration. Sarge, some water? last words stamped inside my head. Seen the lives of young lads cut suddenly short. He's too young. We don't have a choice. There's no escape from fear. Sometimes you feel obliged to fight against fear, and you'd do anything, anything, in the hope that you might be free of it. Today we had an armistice. The truce meant both sides were able to bury their soldiers in peace and freedom. But seeing dead friends is the hardest part. We forgot the whole reason we were there. We laughed and enjoyed each other's company, and there was no friction whatsoever. The Turk were no longer the unspeakable monster of official propaganda. He was human too, as vulnerable as any answer. He too bled, suffered frightfully, and died screaming. What is your name? Uh, 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 name? Uh, what, what is your name? Name? Uh, name My name is Arthur. Name Arthur. Uh, Arthur! Yarlin! I'm pleased to meet you, Yarlin. <laughs> Yarlin! Yes. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Yarlin! <laughs> Here you go, Yarlin. 
It's nice to meet you, Yavin. Thank you for the cards. Aye. Aye. Asa! Wait. Thank you. Oh, here. This is my wife and daughter. For you. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. The armistice was to be intact from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is obviously half past four, as bullets are being exchanged again. I must go now. I shall get this to you as soon as possible. I look forward to seeing you. The thoughts of it has got me through the day. I love you. Please don't go. Yes, Sarge.
जय हिंद